Center. saw is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be working with long sustained pitches so that you can play with finding the center of a pitch. Now the center of a pitch is getting the note that you want to hit dead on. We're going to be unconcerned with uh, what the note actually is, whether it's a G sharp, an F sharp, a B flat, a D, makes no difference. What we're concerned with is your listening, is your being able to work in and out of the tone. Now I want you to purposely work around that tone. Let it go sharp. Let it go flat. That's the whole point of this, so that you can hear all of the microtones in between and around the pitch that you want to match. This is absolutely crucial that you play. The tones are about 12 seconds each, so you've got a little time, and I want you to make sure to record yourself doing this, because the experience of listening to it afterwards can really, really be helpful. Whenever you believe that you are dead on that pitch that you are matching, I want you to actually say the word center. This will allow you in the recording that you make to know when you believe that you are absolutely right on that pitch. And that will also help you to gauge when you're listening whether you really are. Remember, uh, the theremin is very unforgiving and you are only in two states when it comes to pitch. On or off. There is no other way. For this, I want you to play with all those little areas that are off the pitch and then move right onto it. So I'm going to do one more for you, just that first one. I'll rewind, and the rest you can do on your own, just to demonstrate one more time. Here it comes. sustained tones in all. Here you go. Play with it. Play with it. How'd you feel? Here comes another one. your time, really listen, go in and around that tone, find it. Are you remembering to say center? Remember to call out center. There's about uh, three more. your last one. As a side note, there are other things you can do to help refine your sense of pitch. One is go online. You can take a free pitch test. They are really fun to take. So go and explore that. Also, 
there are modifications you can make particularly to your EtherWave and install a little gizmo called a pitch preview. Once you've hooked it up, you can hook an earbud to it, put it in your ear, and you can hear all of the pitches you're going to play before you lift your hand off the volume loop. It's one continuous tone. So even when you go up and down off the volume loop and turn the sound on and off out here, the tone is continuous in your ear. It's great for being able to come in on the correct starting note and also if during the course of a composition there is a two bar rest or any interval where you're not playing, it really guarantees that when you lift up you will have found the pitch that you need to come in on, but it still relies on listening. If you're still unable to find the center of the pitch that you come in on, it will still be wrong. So. The exercise that you've just seen can really, really help you play around and listen. And listen to that recording that you've made of it. Make your own recordings of anything that you can use that makes a long, sustained tone. Make a 10-minute one and then try to see what it sounds like. This will help. It will help a lot. See you next time.